fellow Missourian Josh Hawley was seen at the most recent January 6th hearing. They showed video of him uh, fleeing the Capitol uh, from rioters that he had earlier given a fist pump to. And he said that he did not regret anything that did that day, but he's also you know, possibly preparing for a potential 2024 run. How do you see his potential candidacy? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea how Josh Howie's going to do when he runs for president. I know what kind of person he is. And I know what kind of man he is. And, uh, you know, that, that's something he's got to deal with. Um, but look, um, Josh Hawley is big, phony, baloney, just BSer. I mean, that's what he is. And um, yeah, he's, I'm sure he is going to run for president. Um, and he'll probably do okay for a while. But at the end of the day, uh, I don't think he's going to be successful in selling people on the whatever routine he's got going. I mean, what happened with him? I, I don't have a problem with the guy running from a mob that wants to kill members of the Senate. I have a problem with him just like afterwards acting like it wasn't partially his doing. It's not just that he pumped his fist at the crowd. It's that everybody had agreed that they weren't going to create this opportunity for this insurrection to happen because they weren't going to object to the results. But it was Josh Hawley who said, no, no, no. I think the most important thing is that people, more people on the right know who I am. That's what the country needs. And so he is the one who stepped forward and said, I'm going to do this. People should not forget that, that like what we saw on January 6th might not have happened if not for that decision that he made. Uh, and then, you know, the way that he's com been completely negligent and, and ignored the plight of uh, the Capitol Police, who in that video, he's running past them. They are creating a wall to protect him. Um, I mean, I think we all know what kind of man would do that. And it's, it's nobody I want to be around.